Uh, hello everybody, Anthony is here. In this video I'll talk about how I 3D printed this little guy and uh, what kind of hurdles I met and what kind of problems I had experienced. I designed this uh, toy inside 3D code and if you want to see how it was done, just check my previous video. I also need to mention that I'm a 3D code affiliate and if you want to buy 3D code, I have a promo code in the description. So when I created the model, I really wanted to print it as a whole on the FDM printer. So, and I did encounter a whole bunch of issues, obviously. While kind of the quality is pretty good, there were some elements that were overhanging and had really tough time uh, being printed. So, and I probably did like six or seven test printers, you can see in different resolutions, different sizes. Uh, to see how what kind of print I get and unfortunately I get a problem every time uh, you can see here the 3D call file and the kind of the, the preparation I had uh, for the print so here I have the holes for the uh, for this little rod to rotate the wheels I didn't know what kind of road I would need, so I did a whole bunch of designs. You see this one is kind of squarish, this one is kind of oval, you know, just round. I ended up using the oval one, and then the, the wheels are just lying on the side over there. But the most interesting part is this. So the thing is like, I had to separate these guys all along. And essentially, I had to kind of shave off this top part from the vehicle then I cut out this part from the vehicle and yeah uh, and now I have the three pieces that are much much easier to print on uh, FDM printer on the Creality and the 3 Pro that, I, that I'm using and I pretty much got a flawless print from the first try. The issues that I kind of have here though that uh, I shaved off but really when I then if you glue it together, it doesn't really stick well. You, you kind of want to have some kind of some kind of hole there that will be, you know, connecting it. So it, this is what I did on the latest sculpt when I was doing the girl. So I really want to have like this like hole here and then a, an a extrusion, no, an extrusion there. You know, that would, connect this parts together and that will hold even without the glue that will hold two parts together but I didn't do it and I kind of suffered the consequences it didn't glue well together in the end uh, however when I got it all done I just exported it by you know as an OBJ files to the Cura um, uh, like slicing software and Cura slicing software is super easy to use you just draw input the files, uh, OBJs, it can be OBJs, STLs, whatever you want, and just automatically places them there and it just just snaps it to the ground so we don't have to worry about anything. I have certain th uh, certain parameters here, like I have the raft, so it builds the raft all around the uh, guy, and I have support placement that's put uh, everywhere, and then when I hit the slice, it will build me the model, for, it will build the G-code for the print, and took like a few seconds to do it. So now I have this preparation and you can see how it's going to print. And I did a quite an awesome job. I think I printed the wheels separate from the the parts of the car. So we can see yeah, the three parts um, and just glue it all together and you get your car. Uh, that was, I'm able to roll and it's quite fun. So I really want to encourage you guys to try to design some, something of your own and try to get it 3D printed, especially with the price in our 3D print, printer printers phone and, you know, we can buy a Quality 3 Pro or just Ender 3 for like 200 American dollars, which is really quite cheap and you get quite a decent quality and also it's not toxic, you know, it's not like a resin printer. It doesn't give you the quality that you get from a resin printer, but I, uh, I'm happy to have it under, under my table running 24-7 and printing stuff like this. 
All right. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.